Hi everyone, in this video we will be taking you through adding your first model and animation to your project as you can see here. Links to the written version of this tutorial and documentation will be in the video details below. For this we will be using Kenny's animated characters asset pack which can be downloaded from their site. After downloading, unzip the file and let's have a look at the contents. They've split the model and animation files from each other which is perfect for us. We are interested in the model file to begin with. Let's open the model folder and drag the FBX file into our project assets panel. This will import the file into our project and the play canvas editor will create materials, contain the render assets and most importantly a template asset. If you're importing FBXs into an existing project please make sure you have the following settings ticked in the project settings asset tasks area. This will be convert to GLB, import hierarchy and create FBX folder. The template asset which is known as prefabs in other game engines contains a full NT hierarchical model and is used to add the model to the scene. We can do this multiple ways. Dragging it into the 3D viewport will add it as a child of the current selected entity. Dragging it onto an entity in the hierarchy view will add it as a child of that entity. Dragging it into the empty area of a hierarchical view will add it as a child of the topmost entity in the scene. And finally we have template context menu options when right clicking on an entity in the hierarchy. Now that we have it in the scene, we can see it's untextured. In this case, the texture was not embedded into the FBX and have been supplied separately. If they were embedded in FBX, when we import it, it would also create texture assets and they would be already assigned to the materials. Here's an example. You can see the texture assets being created here and also the materials with the textures assigned to them. Back to our Kenny character, let's upload one of the textures from the skins folder and apply that to the material of the model. We can do this either by dragging the texture asset to the material slot, or we can use the edit button on the material slot and find it in the assets panel. Fantastic, we now have a fully textured model in the scene, ready to be animated. As mentioned earlier, the animations are in separate FBX, so let's import the run animation into the editor. This will create a number of assets which include the animations. As that's all we need, we can delete the other assets that were created. From here, we can preview the animation by selecting it in the assets panel and in the inspector. We will also need to select a preview asset to apply the animation to. In this case, it will be the template asset created for the model FBX import earlier. To add the animation to the character, we need to use the anim component on the entity and also create an anim state graph asset. The anim state graph asset is created by right clicking in the assets panel and selecting new asset, anim state graph. The graph asset can have multiple states, each of which an animation can be assigned and the flow between the states are controlled by transitions with conditions. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will just be focusing on a single state and single animation. More documentation and tutorials for animation will be linked in the description below. To add the graph to our model, we select the template NC instance in the scene and add an anim component in the inspector. In the anim component, we assign it our anim state graph asset and the state in the graph will appear in the component. Here we can assign the animation asset to the state and launch the project. And that's it, we've successfully imported our first model and looping animation into Play Canvas. See you in the next one.